Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you do's and don'ts plus some hacks that I love when I'm doing my nails that make everything so much easier. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Don't use one of these cuticle nippers. This actually creates hangnails. What you need to do instead is push back your cuticles and then use a scraper to take off all of the dead skin on top of the nail. You can never see this stuff, so you definitely have to scrape away at it and you'll find that there's a lot of dead skin, which is probably the reason your nail polish doesn't stay on very long. Number two, for those of you who don't know, oil is always on top of our skin and nails. So take a little bit of acetone or nail polish remover and remove all of that oil with a Q-tip and make sure you don't touch your finger on top of it before you put nail polish on. If this is how you file your nails, you might notice that your nails are constantly breaking and you're getting your nails caught on things. When you go back and forth with the file, it's going to cross hatch the tiny little fibers of your nails, which is going to make them jagged even though it's not visible. It's going to be way less likely to break if you go in one direction. When you're painting your nails, don't try to focus your eye line on getting it right to the edge because you will most certainly go over. Always make sure that you have less polish on the brush as well. When you have too much polish, even if you keep inside the lines, it's going to pool up in the cuticle area like you can see it doing here, and it's going to start drying on the edges of your nails, which is going to look really sloppy. This is my favorite method for painting my nail. I take a dot of polish, I push it onto the upper middle area of the nail, then I push that polish all the way down to the very tip of my nail and see that little space between the cuticle and the polish. I'm gonna push a little bit of that polish up towards that area without actually touching it to the cuticle. Then I'm gonna drag it down the side and repeat on the other side. This is foolproof and it works every single time. When you finish with that first coat and you see a little bit of patchiness, a lot of people go back in with some more polish. Don't do that. Wait for it to completely dry and don't worry, there's always time for a second coat where you can take care of unevenness. If you try to take care of it before it's completely dry, it's gonna turn into a gloppy mess and on top of that, it's never going to dry. Everybody knows a top coat is going to help your nail polish look shinier and stay on for a really, really long time. But one thing a lot of people don't know is that taking the polish and putting it on the edge of the nail, it's called capping. This is going to make the nail polish stay on so much longer and I highly recommend doing it to prevent chips. If you're trying out nail art and you know it's going to be messy, take some clear liquid latex and put it around the cuticle of the nail. This is the easiest way to prevent nail polish from getting on the skin and it looks so clean and it's really fun to peel up after you're done. I don't know how many times this has happened to me where my nails have been really dark color, maybe like a dark red or a black, and then I go to try to take off the polish and there's literally no hope for my nails looking good after this because now there's nail polish all up in the cuticle area and the skin around it is stained red. To prevent the pigment from smearing onto the skin and the cuticle, I'm gonna take a really, really thick hand cream, you can use any kind you want, and then put this all around the cuticle area and up above the skin, anywhere you think the polish might get. Then take your acetone or your nail polish remover and press this down, pull down the nail polish and make sure that you remove it really, really gently. You'll see that your nail looks completely clean and you won't even know you wore dark polish. If you're ever in a really bad situation where your nails are chipped, of course mine looks perfectly polished right now, but a lot of the time I would have nail polish in my bag. I would have either a clear one or a colored one, and I can put this on top of my nail. If you didn't know, this removes polish. Polish is the best way to get nail polish off if you're in a pinch. I don't recommend this because you don't want to waste nail polish on an everyday basis, but if your nails look really bad and you want to clean them up, this is the perfect way to do it. Those are my hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you found it useful. I love you guys and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.